the new Norwegian Netflix series, Ragnarok, left us wanting more after the end of its first season, especially because of the great confrontation between Magni and Vida. In the final episode, Magni gained the force of lightning to attack the giant Vida, whom he left on the ground quite badly wounded. However, there is still no legal justice for Isol's death. Then we leave you with six questions that we had in mind after watching the six episodes, and we hope that the second season responds. Is Vida really dead? After the rays of Magni slash Thor will leave him and Vida on the ground, we saw how Magni moved the fingers of his hand, so we assume he is alive. But we cannot say the same about Vida. If the leader of the giants is really dead, Magni will have to take care of the rest of his family. In addition, this would demonstrate the great power he has in his hands. We left Thor abandon his family. Unlike his father Vida, f wanted to adapt to the time. That is why f wanted to change and be a good man for his crush Rai. He even helped Magni so he could prove the existence of the toxic barrel owned by Vida. After this betrayal of his family, we believe he could get away from them completely. If Vida is still alive, he could kill him and Rai. Will Magni have to face the other giants? Vida was not the only one on Magni's path. Previously Saxa had threatened him at school. While Ran and Saxa seem to be more rational and know that they must keep a low profile among humans, we believe they could face Magni alone to ensure their survival. Who is the woman from the local store? Wench, the lady who granted or rather awakened Thor's powers in Magni, remains a mystery and more because the Jutal seem unaware of their presence in Edda. Could it be that in some way it is connected with the Nordic gods, or is it one of them, or as here as mentioned at the beginning of one of the episodes? Will your husband also be someone important in Norse mythology? What will Rai do with what he knows? Rai seems not to be scared after discovering that f and his family had lived for a long time. In fact, when f was going to kill her, he understood that he was beside himself. Rai forgave him and fled with him from the fight between Vida and Magni, so f may tell him the truth about his origins in the second season, although we don't know what he will do with that information in his possession, will Loritz also have powers? Finally, we want to know if Magni's brother, Loritz, will have powers. His way of being and his physique fit perfectly with the Norse god Loki. Although in the first season there were no signs that he had powers, everything could happen now that Magni became stronger. We do not believe that Thor is the only god who has awakened now that the Ragnarok is approaching.